Good morning all this is Binu Joseph from uh, JRG Securities the Sensex had its steepest fall in on August 16th in 4 years as the rupee has tumbled to a record low RBI is coming out with new measures every week but then still rupee is Asia's worst performing currency this year due to widening current account deficit it has fallen nearly 13% against the dollar year to date there were some fears in the market that the rbi may impose capital control measures on fii's the sovereign downgrade for the country has become a discussion once again the positive us jobs data which had come last week was interpreted that federal reserve will start tapering its stimulus plan starting on september leading to higher volatility in emerging markets the 10 year us treasury note rose to a 2 year high to 2.83% has created a huge amount of pressure on global equity markets because funds are getting shifted into a bond portfolio all these factors induced a correction in the market now the sensex and the nifty are doing a kind of uh, playing catch up up to what has been happening in the broader market which is back to the 2009 kind of zone the movement in the rupee exchange rate could be the trigger for the first 3 days of the week whether it will breach 63 or not on thursday morning the global markets would react to the release of the minutes from the federal reserve emit increase expectations that the us central bank will start the withdrawal of uh, its monetary stimulus the next uh, short term trigger could be the release of uh, india gdp data on august uh, 30th last week nifty closed at uh, uh, 5507 level very near to the 50% uh, retracement level of the Uh, rally from 4770 on may uh, on june 2012 to the peak of uh, 6229 on may uh, 2013 so that uh, 50% uh, retracement is at uh, 5501 level also it is very near to uh, the 2013 intraday low of uh, Uh, 5477 from this level market uh, recovered two times in the past and the linear regression studies also indicates that a bottom formation around uh, 5477 Uh, in the past also so for this week we can assume that 5477 uh, could be the critical support for the market on a closing basis the upside could be limited as most of the other indicators like uh, the rsi uh, the adx and the slow stochastic are not showing any kind of uh, bottom formation the rsi is still pointing a uh, downside so even if uh, there is a recovery uh, the index uh, could face a uh, strong resistance at uh, uh, 5673 uh, level on the upside which is a uh, 61.8% uh, uh, retracement of the previous rally and a close above this uh, 5673 uh, is required for the short term uh, trend reversal so watch out uh, this 5673 as the important mark on the upside however if nifty uh, drifts down below uh 5477 then macd could give uh, uh 
once again give a bearish signal crossover and more selling pressure could emerge as uh, more stop loss triggers might happen below uh, the intraday low of the year 5477 the first support uh, is the is uh, somewhere around uh, 5415 again we can uh, get one uh, trend line support there so a one year trend line support around uh, 5415 uh, could happen so 5415 uh, could be the first uh, support level for the market the major support for the week is at uh, 5328 which is the 38% 38.2% retracement of the uh, recent bottom and the peak that is uh, between uh, 54 uh, 4770 and uh, 6230 so this 38 point retracement is at 5328 which could be uh, the major support uh, for the week now the weekly chart uh, suggests that the downside could continue it broke from an ascending uh, trend channel and uh, if the benchmark could not close above 5673 the downside might continue uh, towards a breakout target of uh, nearly 400 points from the uh, from this particular level so a 400 point downside uh, will come around 5250 so in the near term uh, this could be the major level to watch all the other weekly indicators also suggest uh, uh, more downside for the market the rsi the macd uh, the stochastic all these suggest uh, more downside for the market however as told before if nifty uh, closes inside uh, the trend channel that is around 5673 on the weekend then the downside sentiment could be arrested this could happen only if rupee gains some stability and the us fed minutes not indicating any tapering soon